Hey everyone, Jason here with Milwaukee Instruments. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. And also hit the notification button to receive notifications of newly updated videos. In today's video, we'll be going over the Milwaukee Instruments MA887 Digital Seawater Refractometer. I'm going to show you the calibration procedure and we're also going to compare it with other units in measuring salinity. The Milwaukee Instruments MA887 Digital Seawater Refractometer features three forms of display. Practical salinity unit, parts per thousand, and specific gravity. It also features automatic temperature compensation. The Milwaukee Instruments MA887 Digital Seawater Refractometer comes supplied with the 9 volt battery. Please be sure to remove the plastic wrapping from the battery prior to installation. When you're ready to install, simply flip the unit over, remove the battery lid. As you see, I have a battery already in here. You want to make sure that you line the battery terminals with the connector for proper polarity. Put it back in. I'm going to screw your lid back on. And your unit is now ready to be powered on. To power up the Milwaukee Instruments MA887 Digital Seawater Refractometer, simply hit the on off button. It's going to show you your battery percentage and it's going to start out in PSU. To select through the various ranges, you're going to hit the range button. So you can go from PSU to PPT to specific gravity. In today's video, we'll be measuring in specific gravity. You can change the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. To do that, you must hold the on off button when the unit is off. You'll see some displays pop up and then the Celsius icon will pop up and while you're still holding on and off, you're gonna hit the zero to change it from Fahrenheit. Hit it again to change it to Celsius and I'm gonna go back to Fahrenheit when it sets your desired selection, simply remove your finger from the on off button. The MA887 also comes with validation liquid and distilled water. It also comes with two pipettes, one to use with the distilled water to zero out your unit and the other is used for taking seawater samples. We're gonna start the calibration method by turning on the unit, and we're going to take our distilled water with one of the two pipettes, draw a little sample out, and you want to be sure to cover the lens to get a good reading. Once you have your lens covered with the distilled water, simply hit the zero button. It registers 1.000. Your unit is now calibrated and ready to use. After you zero out the unit, you want to take a soft cloth to completely dry out the sample well where the distilled water was. We are now going to validate the accuracy of the unit using the validation liquid included with your unit. This reads 1.025 in specific gravity. Earlier I mentioned the unit came with two pipettes, one for distilled water, one for the validation liquid. I have marked the one for my validation liquid to be sure I don't cross contaminate the two. So we'll take the validation liquid here, give it a little shake, take a small sample out, cover the lens, and we're gonna hit the read button. And indeed, it does read in at 1.025, validating the accuracy of the unit. After testing your sample with the MA887, always be sure to completely dry the sample well. There may be a chance that salt residue is left on the sample well. A good way to test this is to place distilled water in the sample well and hit the read button. If it reads anything greater than 1.000, that is a good indication that salt is on the lens. 
To clean this, simply flush several times with distilled water. If you're still finding that it reads greater than 1.000, take Windex, place it in the sample well, let it sit there for a few minutes, go over it thoroughly with a Q-tip, then flush several times again with distilled water before placing fresh distilled water into the unit to re-zero the unit. For additional pipettes and validation kits, or to purchase your MA887 and MA800 hard carrying case, simply visit milwaukeeinstruments.com. When using a hydrometer, you must completely fill the hydrometer in order to read samples. In doing so, it can possibly create air bubbles on the hydrometer needle. This will give you inaccurate readings. When using the optical refractometer, it's best used in sunlight, as fluorescent lighting can alter your readings. Also, it's difficult to separate the lines when looking inside the optical refractometer. With the Milwaukee Instruments MA887 Digital Seawater Refractometer, it's as simple as turning the unit on, applying your sample to the sample well, hitting the read button, which will then display on the LCD screen and also have automatic temperature compensation. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. Please stay tuned for upcoming videos. And thank you again for choosing Milwaukee Instruments for all your testing needs.